just thought I would go through <laughs> a my big pile of layouts I've been letting accumulate. Um, I think it's been about a month since I did um, a walk through or flip through. So um, I've actually created a little bit more than I expected, but um, I did let a couple of design teams go in the past couple months because it's just been a lot. And so um, I always only work with companies that I love. So I still love them, of course. And um, I'll talk about it more later, but I just, there's just so much. And like with two boys and all these activities and I just took a new position at work. And so it's just, it's a lot. So anyway, this is what we got going on for the past month. So I created this layout um, for the Wow Embossing and the Picket Fence Studios um, collab we had like an Instagram hop and so I use embossing powder and I use products from um, Picket Fence which was like this stencil um, for the fish and then these adorable little sequins that have sharks in them and they're so cute I love it um, and then of course embossing powder there and I got some more stuff in Picket Fence Studio but I wanted to not overwhelm the layout it's a eight by eight and a six by eight. So anyway, I'm really happy with how this looks. I did this fun little series of photos of my little guy. He is very smiley. He smiles all the time. And so I just was like, run at me. And I just like took a bunch of photos. Um, and then the photos of my other son are hilarious because his face is like working hard. Cause I don't know if you've ever run in the ocean or like on the beach, it's not easy. So he was struggling and the photos were so funny. So I'll make another page with those same. I was hoping to finish up this album pretty soon um because we're about to hit the year mark since we went on this trip um it might happen before then maybe not i don't know <laughs> but anyway i love this layout it was super fun um these are from um um, um echo park i think it was like a under the sea collection and then i did a couple of pages with some lettering like this that you'll see coming up so i was just really loving this technique but this is just distress oxides kind of um ombre style and then with some just some um, embossing ink under it. So this was created uh, for, I think this one was for a cherry on top. And I think I was showing a way to use my favorite product, the rub-ons. Um, and I also got this really fun waffle craft, um, waffle flower crafts, um, sorry, I can't talk tonight, foil plate. And it's like a, um, sunburst and so I did some ink blending on this white card and then I made try to make it look like a sunset and then I did this orange foiling and then this is a cut file um from not just for boys pit club and I did um the rub-ons from everywhere collection by 49 the market um and just documented us on our airplane ride on a vacation so i'm doing a 12 by 12 album for our fall break trip which was on a cruise so i actually don't have an album yet so i need to get one of those because my layouts are really piling up so i created this layout for wow embossing and i um, had these fun photos of um, us and our adult friends no kids we went out to the donut distillery in nashville and um, you get like a little, well, you can get all kinds of things, but I got a little donut platter and it comes with little different mimosas paired with them, which is super fun, right? Um, so I created my own donuts with the embossing powders because um, they're all fancily decorated and I love this page. It was so fun to make. So that's wild embossing. I um, had a great time on their design team but I just had to let a few things go. And so I am, um, I'm off the team for now. They, they said I was welcome back and they're so sweet and I love working with them. So who knows what the future holds, um, but they're fabulous. And of course I'll still use their products and tag them down below and I will link them and you can see the link down below. Um, this is a layout that I made for the acrylic sash bust with, bust with my friends, Nicole, um, Jennifer and Jessica. And this is a wood veneer that my husband made on his X tool because my son was Leo the lion in his play, the star a little bit, maybe if you will. Um, so I heat emboss it with a wow embossing powder. It's like a copper color. So it kind of looks like a lion, I think. And um, did all these fun stars. I'm really happy with this. And then this is just the program from it. And then I have more photos of him and his friends throughout the week um, practicing and everything. So I'll put those in a pocket page. 
uh, while I'm going through these, I'm gonna separate them into piles of vacation and not. So this is another vacation page. Um, I created this with a Not Just For Boys kit. This one was called Delight, I think. And I love this page, it's so fun. I love um, this. I've done this technique a few times and it is just so eye-catching. It's a little time consuming to tie the little strings around the itty bitty little brats, but worth it in my opinion. It was so fun. Um, and I popped up the photos and everything on little foam pieces. And then of course, this is my all-time favorite um, acrylic piece that they have made so far and I want it in every color like some look some fluorescent colors how fun would that be and also we were focused on using stamps that much so I use this stamp which is also not just for boys kid club so that goes in the vacation pile um, another vacation layout this one was for I think this one I did for my series with Sarah scraps where it was called cup file chaos and I stamped on this white cut file and then I backed it in um, vellum. And then I just used a lot of rub-ons and some butterflies. I stenciled these butterflies with um, a Concord and Ninth stencil and um, did some heat embossing on some of them as well to add some glitter and shine. And then my favorite rub-ons, you know, we got a theme going on here. So I love this page. This is in St. Thomas, I think, vacation. This was made with, I think the Delight kit again. Yeah, is that what it was called? I think that's what it was called. Mm. So this is from Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And so I um, actually kind of struggled with this layout, I'm not gonna lie, but I am happy with how it turned out. I just had on um, this little series of photos of my son. Um, I'm still working my way through his first year album because I didn't scrap really that year when I was like first time new mom. So these are him playing in a little baby pool and um, these cute little, um, what do you call them? Fruit little crochet things are super cute too. That one was fun. This one I made um, to help Jessica Michaels celebrate her 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I scrap lifted her and she had done this really amazing, hers was very rainbowy um, um, ink blending work with distress oxides on a cut file. So I mimicked that. I just changed the colors up to match the these papers from Coco Vanilla Studios, and then some of them are from Citrus Twist Kits, and then all this is from Coco Vanilla. Um, and then I, I only had six by eight pages, so I cut them up a little bit to make them fit all the way across this 12 by 12 page. And this is another vacation layout, and I'm just so thrilled with how this looks and kind of where I got the inspiration on that first layout I showed you. Um, it's Distress Oxide, so we all know they blend together really well. And so I love how they run into each other, and then I splash them with some water, and then I also, this was Jessica's idea, used a white gel pen and kind of highlighted the tops, and I just love how it looks, and I'm definitely probably gonna be doing that again because I love it so much. Um, another vacation page, I'm working on that uh, cruise album, y'all. This one I think was for um, a cherry on top and I um, used heat embossing powder again um, to stamp these um, really large foliage pieces that are Catherine Pooler. And then I also added in a lot of other foliage from like ink blended paper with distress oxides. And I used, um, I think our theme was embossing. So I used heat embossing. And I also used dry embossing with embossing folders to be interest pieces that peek out behind the main back paper. Um, and this is just us in the port at St. Martin. Um, and I um, did that ink blending on the letters here. You can see how it's kind of going with the theme this past month. Ink blending on the letters is a new technique that I'm super into. So that was a fun layout too. And um, a lot of these, not all of them, but a lot of these have process videos. So you just like comb back over the last month and you can find them. This one, what was this for? I think this was just for a layout um, for the blog for a cherry on top. And so I pulled out a Valentine's collection by Simple Stories, which is super fun, but I use it for a non-Valentine's layout. So, um, I gessoed my background and I created this really distressed look um, with the ink pads and then watercolored them and then fussy cut this and then used my um, EK Success Big Punch and just documented my sweet little pup. She was selling the flowers. I did not sit her here. She was already doing that on her own. My sweet old girl. Um, this one was for um, 
a ch nope, this was not for a cherry on top. This was for not just for Boys Kid Club. And I think this was using the travel log collection. And so this paper came in the collection. It's already like kind of like a done background, right? So it's 49th and Market. But I just wanted to add my own thing to it. So I don't know if you can tell, but um, there you can kind of see a sheen. So I just like put um, little, I actually didn't even use embossing powder. I used some texture paste, like some gel. And then I sprinkled a little glitter on top. So when it, and I just did it on the paint splotches so that when it dried, it just kind of added a little up to the page on the background and make, let me feel like I wasn't cheating by not doing anything on the background. Is that silly? Um, but this is pictures of me um, by the pool on the cruise. Um, indulging, because that's what vacation is for, right? Always have the ice cream cones, coconut mojitos were our jam that week. So another layout for the vacation album. I think I showed this in the last. Oh, that's why this is out. Okay, so I did show this one in the last um, video because I made this page then, but since then I also made this page, which I think I made this for a cherry on top, and it's an accompanying page, so I just wanted to show you how they like went together because I did pull this out when I was making this to make sure that it was kind of like vibing, you know. So these are all from Simple Stories. Um, I don't know the name of it. It's that Project Life um, collection. And I don't do Project Life, but it just has like monthly cut apart sheets and they're perfect for things like this. So I had a lot of fun doing this and I think that it coordinates really well with the 12 by 12. Um, and I love to do pocket pages. I kind of procrastinate them, but I love doing them. Like the end result in my album mixed in amongst all of the 12 by 12 pages full of size layouts is just like my favorite. So this is another one for WOW embossing and I love WOW. Look at how much it just made the background so fun. So this is like a technique that I did. It was really the first time I did it and um, I've done it a couple of times since then, but just using my freestyle, um, it's really the tool that's used to like make your pad, um, add more ink to your pad, but it's also called a freestyle tool because you can just use it to like roll on and make an abstract shape on your background. And then I did different color heat embossings. And so it just created a really cool, um, look and then i added some of my favorite lay uh rub-ons from 49th and market and then i stamped in different places and then um i did texture paste with different heat embossing colors and then i just I love how it vibes together you know so this was a picture of all of us in front of the cruise ship uh oh and what that is like some embossing powder like eat something happened to it i don't know this is all of it oh no it's on my face it's like i got a booger this is us in front of our um, ship um, at the port in St. Martin. And I just added a little tear at the top and bottom to kind of help with the starkness. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. This one is for, not just for Boys Kit Club, and this one is from Travelog. And one of the people in the Facebook group had asked us how we like to use these film strips that are from 49th and Market. And I was like, challenge accepted. So I just did the most difficult thing I could possibly do, I guess. <laughs> I like flipped them over because they were like a yellow color that didn't really vibe with my layout. So I flipped them over to the opposite side and I heat embossed them. And I, oh, it's sticky. <laughs> um, well, no, that's not true. I didn't heat emboss them. I colored them with Nouveau glitter markers. And then I added clear heat embossing powder to make sure that the Nouveau markers didn't smudge. And when I um, heat set that embossing powder, it kind of like melted the plastic a little bit. And so it gave me this really cool dimension. And um, so I just popped up the backing pieces with some foam um, to allow me to not be really fighting with the dimension, to stick it down directly onto the page. And I used them to frame these photos of my boys eating ice cream because that's what we did a lot of on the cruise was eating ice cream cones. You're not allowed to pass the ice cream machine without eating an ice cream cone. It's a rule. So don't have a meltdown. Ice cream is free. Best time ever because you get to eat ice cream all the time. Um, and then I added some white splatter. I'm happy with this edit. Wow, it's a lot of fun. Um, I guess I better get a really big album hum for my 12 by 12 cruise page pages. But you know, I actually was thinking about this. A lot of times the scrap gals talk about um, just throwing photos in an 
album and only doing a few scrapbook pages and I might do that with additional photos from that cruise because I have so many uh, I might just um, print them out and do like a they have a 12 by 12 divided page with um, three um, portrait three on top and three on the bottom and I could totally just four by six print them out and so that like you flip and you have a scrapbook page and then you flip and you have just like photos like an old school photo album um, and that might be a uh, an option to one keep it only to one album because I definitely don't want to go more than one 12 by 12 album for one vacation um, but also because um, just that's a lot to, but I am having fun making the cruise pages so I'm not gonna limit myself but anyway I need to speed up because this video is getting long this was another wow embossing page that I made in collaboration with little darlings um, LDRS and I did that same technique with the freestyle tool. And I did this, um, did the, these pastel background colors all over. And then um, I used this little sheet. This is actually from the packaging of a um, 49th of Market. And then these die cuts and these alphas are from LDRS. And aren't they perfect? We were writing the carousel on a cruise ship. And so I popped some of them up on foam and then they're just so sweet. Um, but I can't be too sentimental. So it's you spin me right around, baby, is the <laughs> layout. It was so fun. I love this page. And this was also a hop between those two companies that was on Instagram, but they are over now. Um, this one is made for, not just for boys, and this is the travel log kit. And this actually came together fairly simple, but, um, not just for boys recently started creating more stamps. They used to create stamps and they had to stop during COVID. So they're back on it. And so I use their new stamps, which are these hexagon textures and outlines. And I heat emboss them on vellum with this white and glittery heat embossing powder and they just had such fun texture but I didn't want to cover up the map too much so that's why I used vellum and I'm really happy with how that looks and it's just a selfie of me and my husband and it says I'll travel the world with you and just a few like embellishment clusters and I love it oh this one's fun so I just made this one recently for um, a cherry on top and our theme was florals um, for our hop and so we I um, recently got the Spectrum Gardenia collection, which is beautiful rainbow. And so I just dove right in. I don't want to hoard it. I mean, I have a lot of it. So I um, wanted to use the um, laser cut florals. So I did that and then I combined them with some of the laser cut foliage or leaves, I think is what they're called. And then I used the um, rub-ons as well of the leaves. And then this is a rub-on. There was a um, title rub on, and so I combined that with some die cuts from Concord and Ninth. And then even these little stitches are rub ons. And then I love the collection, had a lot of black thrown in with the rainbow. Um, so I printed my photo in black and white, and then this background page, of course, um, already had all the black and white. And I love this. And this was my sister in law on her birthday, and she's one of my besties. Love the girl. So um, yeah, I like to document that. Love that page. That's on the vacation page. And this is the last one. This is a vacation page, and I just made this with the June Not Just for Boys Kit Club. Um, what is it called? It is called. Oh no, Sunshiny Day. It's called Sunshiny Day, and um, it. I. We're supposed to use a stencil this month, so I used a stencil that came in the kit with my challenge. I used texture paste, and then um, I cut. Used this watercolor. I did two layers to make it dark, and then I splattered it with that same watercolor as well as with some distress oxide. This is a cardstock cut from Not Just For Boys. And so I backed it with this yellow paper and then I like kind of just popped up a different color just for the main word um, on foam. And then I popped up all of the die, die cut ephemera on foam. So I love that dimension that it gives. And um, these photos of my kids at the pool at Coco Cake because, um, and the, this was the perfect cut file because their advertisement is like, have the best day ever. And it's like a lot of pressure to have the best day, but it was really a fun day. So um, there is a process video, just a few videos back on this one. And that is the layouts that I'm in the last month. Um, now there may be some smaller album pages that I've probably already put away, but um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna put all of my affiliate links down below. Oh, the other um, company was, um, I used to be on the Spiegel Mom Straps design team. and. Um, that year was up and so again I just seen the time I love them so much they are fabulous they sell these the foam tape uh, and they sell of course 
gorgeous sequins. So um, I will link them down below too. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd love it if you like and subscribe. Bye y'all.